I want to start by setting out an argument about high performance. What are the psychological and cultural conditions that enable us to flourish as individuals, as teams, and as institutions? Where does high performance come from? To answer to this question, there are two broad ways of responding. Over here, people say, well, to be really good at my job, it's largely, or for some people, almost exclusively about natural talent. This is sometimes called the fixed mindset in the psychological literature. But over here, people give a subtly different answer. Well, they say talent isn't irrelevant, but in the complex world, it isn't enough. And they focus on other ingredients that are implicated in high performance, such as discipline practice, the capacity to evaluate what one is doing, to see where the weaknesses are, and crucially, the recognition that however talented you are, even if you're a genius, you can nevertheless get better. This is called the growth mindset because it enables people to do something that is otherwise rather challenging and for some people almost threatening. Namely, learn from their errors, from their mistakes, and to use a slightly inelegant term, from suboptimality. What are you implicitly saying when you say to people, we can get better? You're not already perfect. That's threatening to people in a fixed mindset. When talented people are in the wrong mindset, the intellectual and creative energy is not going towards learning, but towards creative self-justification. Again and again in black box thinking, I show a negative correlation between talent or IQ and performance when people are in the wrong mindset. The growth mindset is not so naive as to say that talent doesn't matter. It's saying that in a complex world, it's what we do with our talents. It's about liberating talented people to learn, adapt, and innovate, and therefore get the job more effectively achieved, rather than getting into this horribly narrow terrain of creative self-justifications that torpedoes the progress that we need to make in all of these different industries. Having a just culture, which is a concept discussed in one of the later chapters of Black Box Thinking, making the time to rationally distinguish between systemic and individual problems is at the heart of high performance.